We're training inside today because it's quickly turning to winter out there. I live in Canada and uh, right now it's getting a little bit un inhospitable for outdoor training. Today we're talking about the Chinese straight sword, otherwise known as the Jian. The Jian is one of the four major Chinese weapons, along with the staff, the spear, and the broadsword. The Chinese straight sword is a double-edged sword, so it's sharpened on both sides. It tends to be sharper near the tip, a little duller down here near the bottom, so that it can block a little bit more easily. It's got a handle to help block blades as they come in, so they don't strike your hand. And both in performance and battle, there can be a tassel. The tassel is in place for distraction, and also in performance, just to, uh, just to look nice. Some tassels can be much longer, some shorter, depending on the styles that you're doing. So the Jian has a long, long history. It's more of a refined weapon. It's what was known also as a gentleman's weapon or a scholar's weapon. And rather than big hacking and slashing movements like you'd see with a broadsword, and we'll do some uh, some series on the broadsword as well where you can really see the difference. The Jian had much more refined movements. Small cuts, small slices. So it wasn't really for hacking off body parts. It was really mainly for slicing arteries, tendons, muscles, um, as well as a lot of stabbing techniques. You see also with the Jian when you're doing the form, the second hand is usually placed in a two finger position. So this is actually called the sword hand, even though this is the one that you're holding the sword with. And it leads movements and helps assist with balance and your accuracy and placing where you want the, the Jian to go. So let's take a look at some Jian form and see how it differs from some of the other forms that are out there. Street sword is a lot lighter and thinner, more refined than something like its cousin, the uh, southern broadsword, where so these are made for hacking and slashing through weapons, through people. This is all about evasion and fine movement. One thing to keep in mind with the Jian is that it is sharp on both sides. So a lot of the moves that you would see in broadsword really cannot be done. You can't be blocking behind the back because if you do, your back's gonna get cut when you take a block. You can't be swinging around, blocking like this. So it's important to keep this in mind because the form has to match the weapon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into what training with the Chinese Kung Fu Jian is like, the Chinese straight sword. And thanks to Zen Dragon for asking me to make this uh, video and give you a little bit of uh, a view into what this weapon is like. 
And thanks also to Zen Dragon for providing such a positive message on YouTube around martial arts. I really, really do appreciate that. You know, I'm not really a, a great master and I don't really teach, uh, but I really enjoy sharing with you the training that I do that helps keep me healthy going into my older years. I'm well over 50 now and I'm going to keep doing martial arts and Chinese Kung Fu especially uh, to keep happy and healthy for as long as I can. So if you train, keep training and if you don't, try to find some martial arts in your area where you can study. And uh, in the description below you should see maybe some links into uh, the YouTube channel that I've set up to show some of my uh, other training and my uh, trips to China to train and that type of thing and also my Instagram as well and uh, subscribe to um, Zen Dragon if you can as well thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video